Hi everyone, it's time for Fan Mail Friday and this one is very exciting. You will definitely want to watch the video, uh, not just read the blog, watch the video. I'm going to start off with uh, a card that's a first from our friend Terry, who is a member of the Friends Who Love Anna Griffin Facebook group, and she has been collecting our products since 2000, 2001, and she has some early kits, and they, she keeps them for inspiration, so thanks for reaching out and telling us about yourself. So great to hear from you. I, uh, I have two cards from Nancy, and these are also first, and I just want to show you how pretty it is all wrapped in the uh, embossed tissue. And we'll start with the Halloween card. How fun. It's a full-on haunted house ornament, and Nancy, I love, I love the weight of it, and I, I really love the 120 mini Halloween stickers. Well, your gingerbread house is awesome too, and I think that's what's so fun. Look, we have our, her first gingerbread from our house to yours, and it's so cute. May the spirit of Christmas bring joy to your heart, happiness to your home. And Nancy writes a long letter to me, which is so fun. She had just unearthed uh, me on VHS, on a VHS tape, and she doesn't have the VHS player anymore, but I think I still have one if you want to come over. Uh, <laughs> we can watch that uh, together. I'm glad that you loved all the witchy embellishments and the gingerbread house, and, uh, and I, I, I really love that you join us on Monday and Tuesdays and Fridays right here on the blog. So nice to hear from you, Nancy. Uh, I have a a Halloween card from my friend Mary Beth, and it says, you know, if you can't stir with the big girls, keep away from the cauldron. Ha 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 ha. And it's cute. She's got a snarky comment on the middle. In the middle, be the kind of woman that when your feet hit the floor each morning, the devil says, "Oh crap, she's up." <laughs> oh, Bo and Tashi's mom, Mary Beth. How cute. So I love that, and. Uh, it's really, it's really fun. Okay, now look at this. This is pretty. Lots of our um, vintage summer and the uh, the vin the Halloween fall cardstock, all kinds of fun things. And from Debbie Gilbert, and so pretty. And she can't wait to meet me. Can't wait to see you in less than four weeks. Oh. Speaking of that, we're going to see Miss Marsha here. She made this card uh, in four weeks. And look. There's a spooky thing going on outside the window. Isn't that fun? Eek. And what's so cute is that Marsha included her puppies. Well, let me just show you. The puppies are here on the card, and then they're also here in the card. So Fergus and Ian, uh, I think that's really fun. They must be Scottish. West Highland Terriers, right? Uh, and so cute, yes. Spooky greetings and all about her two Scotty, oh, Scotty, Scotty dogs. Okay, sorry. All right, that's so fun. I, I'm, you know, I'm team cat, and I, that's, I don't know much about the puppy dogs, but anyway, <laughs> here we go. This is from Deborah, and we have a whole nother Halloween, beautiful Halloween a uh, card with the haunted house on the inside. She writes how much fun it was to make this, and she was so excited about how it turned out and that she had used the twall paper, her, one of her last few sheets, and made it, it's all flocked on the back, so it's very spooky. So great. And speaking of spooky, we have Sylvie. And look, Sylvie. Your card has uh, been been uh, around the table here this morning, and you'll you'll know why in a second. But that is so fun. I love all the color combinations and the little spider at the top. And thanks to Ernie, you signed it, Sylvia and Ernie. Very sweet. Uh, now I have I have a card from Janet, and Janet has been so patient with us and HSN because she's been waiting to Skype for three months now. And what's so sweet about Janet 
is that she sent me her gingerbread cards that she made for her Skype call. And I, Janet, you know, if I can get it together, I'm going to send these back to you so that you can send these off to your friends and family. I love this one. This looks like the, the uh, a little uh, uh, a house in, you know, a fairy tale. And look, the dog house and the church house. And the, I just think this is so cute. So there's something, and we have the schoolhouse, and then we have the birdhouse. So smart. Okay, love them. All right. Next, look at this. All right. Oh, and we have, uh, isn't this fun? So this is from Vicki Mose, and this has a scary tree, and it's a step card that is so great with the haunted house easel die. Uh, very unique, and I did say that it, it said it was fragile when I opened it, and I've been very careful with it, and I will be again. Okay, now this, this is from, the, wait, I have to tell you. Look, it's a happy anniversary. I'll just show you up close. Anniversary, 25th anniversary, and it's from Jerry. And I'll, I'll open it. I, I love this because you did the opulent border gatefold, and I think that was in our Made Easy video, wasn't it? And let's see. You're pretty, pretty, pretty stationary. says it wouldn't be proper not to send an anniversary card at the end of 25 years on silver. Uh, and all the things, she used fantastic flips, and she loves the blog and the fan mail, and Jerry, thank you so much for the, making that for me. It's just beautiful, and I'll put it over there, and then uh, I, <laughs> Richard's card this week is, um, it's quite something. All right, let's just look right there. I don't have the right light on it. All peacock feathered, all beautiful. It's all about Deep Deepavali, right? That festival of lights that we visited last week in Fan Mail Friday. And it he calls it Diwali. There are lots of different ways to talk about it, but it's in honor of that. It's a festival of light. I've done all kinds of research on this since uh, we last talked about this very special holiday in the Hindu so, so it starts on the 27th of October, and the people that celebrate it, they create a, a meditation contemplation altar, which he made for me, and I love it, and he, Richard writes, he wishes that our current uh, situation in the world, how if we all looked at our actions and behaviors towards others, it af affects not only our nation, but the world, and be... This celebration is a time to be more mindful of others and of nature and the environment. And it's so wonderful that there is a paper. I, I just can't even get to the whole thing here. Look, look at this. There's notes and letters. And this is actually the history of the, of the Festival of Light. But let me quickly get to the... There's, there's the elephants. All right. This is the, this is the paper celebratory altar. Look at that. More peacocks, more beautiful bohemian dyes, and the, the Buddha in the middle. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's really big. Let me show it to you for the front. And there you go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I had a paper nativity last week. Richard, you're, you know, you, people want to know about you. They want you to do some classes, so I think I'm going to have to have you join me to, to do a few. What do you think? <laughs> okay, now, uh, uh, Petoskey, uh, Michigan, uh, has a famous chocolatier that I, um, all of us here at Anna Griffin got a little treat this week. I've been saving it all week, and this is from Jeannie, and... Cute little Halloween card. Of course, the kitty is on there. And uh, a thank you it's to Anna and team for making the crafting dreams come true. And uh, I love that I will be sharing all of this, not eating all of this, <laughs> uh, as soon as the video is over. But it's been sitting there. I think everybody has asked, what is that? And so I will share just a little later. Okay. Now, Elizabeth... 
Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. All right, let's look at the spooky salutations card and the kitty cat bookmark and uh, everything about that. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. And it's so pretty. So she is, this is, there's, a, oh, there's a spell um, from Shakespeare. How fun. And that, oh, okay, this is so great, Elizabeth. I'm going to have to use this. Everybody's going to have to sit and have this um, with them uh, on our front desk at the office. And I, I just realized that your letter was in, in the, it came out of the pocket. As my friends know, I'm a Christmas person, Father Christmas and trees in every room. And never did I think of doing Halloween anything until you sent me the witchy card kit. I have to confess, I never thought I would Skype with you when the witchy kit arrived, and I was in panic mode. Uh, Tom, who was my run-to teacher, told me to treat the witches like Christmas with more bling, and while I was creating the cards, I thought this could be fun. The Skype worked out well for all of us. I didn't swear, I didn't faint, I didn't drop my cards or choke on my tea, and I had fun doing it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, that's so fun. Okay. She used the Cricut Explorer to create some of the box. Good for you. Okay. Let me show you. All right. When you look at it up close, she's, she, the witches are on all the sides. And when you open this up, <laughs> oh, that's such a treat. That is such a treat. And I think, so when you, in true Elizabeth explosion box form, every single panel of the box has a Halloween saying and embellishment and, and how much fun the witches brew and the bats are just plum crazy. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I have one more thing and, uh, <laughs> You might hear it. Uh, it's it's our, our, our newest Griffinite. So I'm going to go over here for a second. Our newest Griffinite wants to make uh, an appearance. He did not make a card, but he sure loves your cards because he took a bite out of Sylvie's card. Look, look up at the camera. Look on number look on number two. This is Duke. Duke, look. Look. <laughs> oh, I hope you love him as much as I do. Uh, Duke came to our family this past weekend, and he's a rag doll. He's a, a seal-pointed rag doll. And those of you that are going, oh, my gosh, what about Georgie? Georgie is not happy. But uh, Vicky inspired me. Kay inspired me. Jeannie inspired me. Uh, to get a little playmate for Georgie. And Duke has been here in the office with us all week and really excited to make his debut on Fan Mail Friday because that it didn't seem right to have you in the product previews. No, no, I'm so tall. I'm 12 weeks old and I have the most beautiful blue eyes. Ah, oh, so our newest fan is uh, happy and ready to uh, play and experience all the paper that paper crafting has to offer. And no, we're not going to eat Elizabeth's bats, but I'm sure we're going to try. Bye for now. <laughs>